Oh, hello, Brett. Swafford Homestead. Out doing a little potato digging today. A little tater digging. I hope y'all caught my little short video of my grandson picking up potatoes yesterday. He wasn't as excited as he was the first time, but he did pick a few up. I think we've already burned him, and I still got a couple rolls go. But anyway, I was out here digging my eighth row of potatoes. You can see all the vines laid up this side here. I've made it all the way through. I don't know, it's 35, 40 feet long, something like that. Good size. I like the shorter rolls and make more rolls. I don't know why, this seems better when you're running tiller or digging or you can see the end of the roll a lot easier. <laughs> but anyway, I got roll eight dug, like I said. I'm gonna show you what we got out of it. I can't tell you poundage, but I'll show you bucket wise. There's two full five gallon buckets. There is Yukon Gold in this bucket with some red ones on top because I was running out of room. This is all uh, you know, red potatoes. I have to think for a second. Red Pontiac. And this is the other part. Not hardly a half, but we're averaging about two five gallon buckets a roll and this is roll eight. So I've, I've had a few potatoes. We're slowly working through them, taking the small ones and canning them, canning the new potatoes, getting us a good harvest put up for this winter and next summer. I generally try to grow enough to last for a year. We hadn't hardly made it yet. We had to plant what we had this March. So from March to now, we, we bought a bag or two bags of potatoes from the store. But we still got canned potatoes. It ain't like we was out, but we wanted, you know, you got occasionally get you a fresh potato. This is roll nine. I did give it a sample. There was a couple extra plants sticking out to the side. Got a little southern one in the roll good, and I thought, I better check and see what's in it. Because I knew the last video, I couldn't tell you which potatoes were switched because there was a switchover in there. You know, roll eight was a switchover. About a little past half, maybe two thirds away, it switched from. Yukon Gold to Red Pontiacs. I was digging long and all of a sudden I rolled a big red potato out. I think it was this one. I wasn't like this one anyway. I was like, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. I shouldn't be seeing red potato. And I duck, duck another dip and I found a whole plant of them. And I said, well, here's the switch over. I did switch them. But I think that's pretty good harvest. Two five gallon buckets a roll. Could do, could do better. I could get a different brand, but your red potatoes really do good here in Tennessee. Middle Tennessee, anyway. I can't speak for the other hands. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what was going on here. Just a short video of a little potato digging. A little sweat fest out here. Stream heat's coming. Been in the 90s all week, but it's supposed to be upper 90s tomorrow, and... I think Thursday's 100 and Friday's supposed to be 102. Yeah, we're getting heat here in Middle Tennessee too. A little cooler at night than what you have down, deep down south, but we're still getting heat. It's going to be hard in the gardens. It's going to be hard to work outside. Everybody be careful. Watch how hot you get. Don't overdo it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to us. Y'all have a good week.